Cookie Officer in Charge of the Traffic Services Branch with SAPOL. This week, SAPOL are undertaking a new road safety traffic campaign called Operation Danger. Operation Danger has been established to target dangerous road use, which is a contributing factor to a significant number of fatalities and serious injuries on our roads this year. Operation Danger will be running throughout the week from today through to midnight on Sunday. We know that Operation Danger, or Operation Danger for Dangerous Road Use, has been a contributing factor to 21 lives lost this year. That is over 25% of the total of the lives lost on South Australian roads this year. Dangerous road use is a significant issue, and as a result, we will be targeting this with the full force during the operation this week. Every police officer who is on duty in company with their normal duties that they undertake will be contributing to Operation Danger. Operation Danger is about behavioural road use and about how people use the road. We know that people choose to use the road inappropriately. We know that people choose to use the road but not the way it was designed and their behaviour is contributing to significant carnage on our roads each year. This year, with Operation Danger, we will target a number of offences. These things include uh, following too close, uh, lane behaving, lane behaviour of offences such as overtaking on double barrier lines, failing to give way, driving in a manner, manner or, uh, or a speed dangerous, driving without due care, and things that uh, contribute to behavioural offences on our roads. We also know that drink and drug driving is a contributing factor to dangerous road use behaviour. So during this operation, we'll continue to target drink and drug drivers. Dangerous road use behaviour, uh, you can face some significant sanctions and penalties. These things will range from fines and cautions because there is an education aspect to this as well. You can lose your licence immediately. You can have your car impounded and you may, depending on the nature of the offending, um, actually go to jail. Is this a double demerit operation or is it just, um, not just, but are you just targeting these things um, at a higher volume? Uh, it's not a double demerit operation. It's an operation that's been specifically um, set up to target dangerous road use. Um, it's about how people use the road. So we know, as I've said, it's a contributing factor in a lot of the lives lost um, this year. And our history will say, you know, up to 20% um, over the last five years of the lives lost on our road, um, dangerous road use is a contributing factor to that. So we are going to target people for dangerous road use. These people can be um, normal drivers any other day of the week, but they choose um, to make a bad decision on the road or they don't think about what they're doing on the road and then contributing to dangerous road use, which then contributes to fatalities and lives lost. So we'll target a lot of those types of offences. Yeah, I mean, we've been banging on about the road toll a lot this year. Are you exhausted, tired? Are you sick of saying the same messaging and people not listening? Oh, very much so. And I think I've said uh, previously, well, we're really frustrated, um, the South Australian Police are really frustrated by the number of lives lost this year. It's, it's devastating for families, it's devastating for communities. Um, these suite of traffic operations that uh, SAPOL will continue to run throughout the year. Well, as I said, we want to educate people, but we need to enforce and reinforce uh, with people what proper road use is, how you go about um, taking responsibility when you're behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, which will help drive down these serious injuries and, and lives lost. And Operation Danger, um, targeting these specific types of offences and things like failing to, to give way and not stopping at stop signs, all those things we may take for granted are those things that contribute to dangerous road use. So we'll package all those up this week. We do them throughout the year in any event, but there's a real focus this week around enforcement and education on these offences. And when you say that real focus, is that an increased police presence? Are we going to see more, more out on the beat, more undercovers? Um, is this putting drivers, I guess, on notice that you know, you'll be watching? All, all resources uh, that are working this week in SAPOL, whatever shift, day, afternoon and night shift, will be out doing their normal duties, but they'll also be having a strong focus on uh, the offences 
around dangerous road use. So it might not necessarily always mean extra resources, but it's about using the resources that we do have in a concentrated way. Does the season have anything to do with the time that you've launched this um, campaign? You know that um, RAA, their stats came out saying that in the season of spring, there's a higher um, percentage of rear end crashes and side swipes in spring. Yeah, and um, it, it's not necessarily coinciding particularly uh, with, with a particular season, but we know as the weather does warm up, um, more people will uh, venture out, venture out onto the road. We know that motorcycle use increases uh, when the weather warms up um, and people um, get their motorbike out of the shed um, and they, they want to go uh, for a ride through the hills. And so it's not necessarily targeted at a particular time of the year. This is an ongoing education and enforcement process throughout the year. Um, over a range of different uh, contributing factors to lives lost. Um, dangerous road use being one of them, and that's what uh, we're concentrating on this week. Are there any areas in particular that you're targeting, or is it widespread? It's widespread, it's a statewide operation. Um, it's not unique to the metropolitan area. We've had uh, fatalities occur on regional roads this year that's been as a result of dangerous road use. So it will be everywhere throughout the state. Um, and as I said, all police officers who are working uh, this week, uh, apart from their normal duties that they're doing, will also contribute to this operation. Can you speak to why the numbers, um, the statistics this year, are so much higher than comparatively to last year? Oh, look, it's, 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 really, it's really hard to, hard to say. Um, we did come last year from our lowest ever number um, of lives lost on South Australian roads. So when we compare it to last year, uh, you may say it's an in some respects, an unfair, unfair comparison. Um, I wish I could put my finger on on the why, um, and these are these are why we run these operations: is to continue to educate and make people aware of how they're using the road and the, and the responsibility they have while they're driving a vehicle. Um, you can get down to complacency, you can get down to impatience, you can get down to recklessness, you can just get down to moments in time where bad decisions are made and they have catastrophic consequences. Maybe this year we've had more of those than what we've had in the past, but operations like this and, and uh, the work that police do um, in and around the road safety context, we're hopeful that we can drive this number down. Mm. But we're just encouraging all motorists uh, and all riders of motorcycles and cycles and, and pedestrians uh, just to be aware, be aware of their surroundings, uh, drive responsibly and ride responsibly and hopefully that uh, will go a long way to driving uh, these numbers down. But it's everybody's responsibility, good and bad drivers, because good drivers in a momentary lapse make a bad decision, um, can also have really bad consequences. And this might be a question without notice, but um, in terms of the demographic of lives lost, are we seeing that there's a particular area of the community that are losing their lives? Are we talking, you know, young men or are we talking, you know, older inexperienced um, or older drivers? Sure. Um, I think this year it's a, um, it's a spread across all, all age groups. Um, clearly we, uh, we have vulnerable road users at both um, the top end of the age group and the, and the bottom end of the age group. Um, they are clearly contributing to some of the lives lost. But some of our more experienced drivers, um, you know, in that 40 to 49 and, and 50 to 59 age group are quite highly represented this year. So it goes to show, um, just because you're an experienced driver doesn't make you immune from making good decisions and taking responsibility. We often speak about um, older drivers and younger drivers, but it's, it's really, it's all drivers. Um, we also know that uh, the numbers in terms of live loss and serious injuries in, in rural environments uh, always quite high. Um, again, it's not confined to the metropolitan area. It's it's across the state, which is why this is a statewide operation that we're running this way. And this also might be something you may not want to answer, but in terms of lives lost, do we know if those people that are losing their lives are the ones engaging in the bad behaviour, or does it tend to be somebody else and then somebody's losing their life? Um, there's a mix. There's a mixture of that, and I don't have the have the figures right in front of me right now. But I guess what I'm speaking to is that, is that the people that are doing the dangerous things or the victims of these accidents aren't necessarily the ones engaging in the danger, it's somebody else inflicting it on them. Yeah, very, very much. That has happened and we had a, a very sad incident on the Duke's Highway earlier this year where that very thing um, occurred where, uh, and then that matters before court so we won't talk about it too in depth, but the behaviour of one particular road user 
um, impacted the life of what was really another road user doing nothing wrong. So road user behaviour is about the person who's doing the driving, but it's also about how it affects people outside of that. Mm. So um, it can have catastrophic consequences for the dangerous road user themselves or what might be on the, on the other end of that dangerous road use. All good, everybody? Uh, well, Superintendent, I wanted to see if you could articulate uh, for us what is police's role in road safety and what is a driver's and a road user's role? How are they different? Who is responsible for what? Yeah, well, police, as you would appreciate, have an enforcement and an education role. It's not, it's not always for us around bringing in penalties and sanctions. We, we often educate road users. So ours is a, is a dual role. We do have a, a number of corporate operations that run throughout the year that focus on, on really the fatal five uh, contributing factors to, to road trauma in South Australia. Um, so the police have a role in education and enforcement. Enforcement, uh, whether people like the level of enforcement or not, that is an ability that we have uh, as part of that broader um, education, if you like, uh, process, but the road users themselves have a significant responsibility. I would like to get up here and say that the police don't have to have any interaction with a road with a road user. That would be perfect because we know that people then are doing the right thing. So it gets back to the, the driver, the rider, the pedestrian, as I said before, to take responsibility as well. We have a number of good drivers in South Australia. I, we have, have an overwhelming majority of good drivers in South Australia. We have a percentage that are dangerous road users. We have a percentage that don't do the right thing. So for me, I just implore those people to take responsibility, understand what the consequences of their actions um, could be for themselves and others. Um, and then between the police and, and the road users themselves, we can help get that number down. Sorry, can I just get you to describe these statistics? How, how would you, what words would you put around them and you know that it's triggered this operation? Oh, well, the statistics uh, which you have in front of you show uh, that there is a number of offences that are committed throughout the year that uh, road user behaviour related. Um, now, what, what it does show is that the police are out enforcing and, and educating people on the road, but it shows that there's too many. We'd actually like to get that number down. We'd actually like people to understand what dangerous road use is. And if those numbers can come down, then that's really what this is about. That's the context of it. Uh, we know that numbers exist. Um, some of those numbers are, are, are high at, at the end of the day. Uh, but for us, it's um, having an idea of what's happening on the road, um, where do we need to focus our efforts? And those numbers would suggest to us that we need to put some effort into dangerous road use behaviour. And just while you're talking about responsibility on our roads overnight, we saw three major incidents. Um, do you have anything to say on the drunk driver who was allegedly caught four times over the speed limit? Uh, over the drink, uh, drink driving limit? Well, apart from suggesting that the person is a complete idiot um, and it's just completely stupid. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we, we link in what road, dangerous road use is, well, that kind of squarely falls with, with what that is. Pete played it four times over the legal limit. There's a person who, um, is completely irresponsible, has got no idea what consequences uh, for, for other for other road users and for, him, for himself. Um, and quite rightly, we've been able to take that person off the road. So um, that is the that is absolutely the type of behaviour that we're trying to stop. And on the Royal Adelaide show, how are drivers <coughs> behaving around the show? Has, has there been um, an uptick in, in bad behaviour? Um, I haven't had any bad behaviour reported to me. Um, we do have a police presence um, on the roads around the show. People will know that it's a 25 kilometre hour speed limit um, through the showgrounds uh, or on, on Goodwood Road and, and some of the surrounding roads around the show. Um, police will have a presence there all week um, policing that speed limit. There's lots of pedestrians around. So um, in terms of having um, some feedback on driver behaviour around the show, there's been, been nothing negative. Um, the show's been around for a long time. People will know that we have a presence there, so we just ask people to do the right thing in the, in the environs with the number of pedestrians and, and show that we have. Right. Just like cool. those incidents cool. I was referring to last night, can you speak um, to anything on the cattle trap rollover that occurred at Barra? 
Uh, no, I did hear about that this morning, and I understand uh, that the driver was initially trapped, but has been freed, and there are a number of cattle <laughs> roaming the side of the road, but I, I don't have an update on in terms of road closures or how that, that, um, that particular incident is playing out at the moment. All right. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Thank you.